What's up, V2 crew? This is Unknown here, and this is going to be another episode going over why I quit trophy and achievement hunting. So let's get started. This one is going to be about FOMO. So there's two sides to this one. First off, there's the side of FOMO for having to play and missing out on all of the easy, easy games. And then the flip side is the FOMO of playing the games everyone's raving about, everyone um, is excited about, the, the stuff I wanted to play, those, those longer JRPGs that I couldn't do because of leaderboard chasing and whatnot. So first let's talk about the quote-unquote fast plants, easy peasy, whatever you want to call it. I would have this fear of missing out on literally any of them because the other people on the leaderboard near me were also playing them. So it was kind of like I had to keep up in a way. And then I would get actually really anxious and things if I was not able to um, have that one uh, on my profile, have that game played, have that game platted, 100% completed. So that was a real pain too because I mean there was just so many stacks so many different regions and it wasn't really so much the case early on as much when I was trophy hunting because I wasn't caring about the leaderboard I was I did shift into trying to get all of the quicker games I used to go on to uh, ps3 trophies what it was called at the time and just go through that list of the uh the easy easy plat values or difficulty and uh knock those out there but it didn't really start happening until i started getting into visual novels and then there wasn't even that many at the time so going back to get them all was kind of just more of like kind of fun hunt in a way to hunt down the the visual novels and try to get good deals online and try to sell them and uh, resell them and get the money back. But then when it was really leaderboard chasing, like really just trying to maintain that spot, it was just, I was so miserable because it was, I had basically if a new list popped up like six or eight times every day, I was just like, oh, really? What? Uh, it was like I would dread I went from being excited when there was a short trophy list appearing or achievement list to just dreading it. Like I would wake up and I'd be like, oh man, please do not have a new list that is some really easy game that I just have to play now. So I had that, uh, that experience. And then the other side of it, Playing all those games did take up a bunch of my time, and I was missing out on a lot of other stuff, a lot of games that I I wanted to play. Like, I, I felt like I had to get through the trash first so that I can get to the fun stuff, but then I never was able to get to the fun stuff. And then even when I was playing the fun stuff, I was rushing through it and things because I was fearing missing out on the shorter things. And it wasn't even just the like five minute plats, it would extend to just basically the shortest available thing. So even if the shortest thing I hadn't played, for example, was like two hours long, I would be feeling like I was missing out because I could be earning more trophies per minute, I guess, if you want to call it that. Yeah, and then I had the, the other flip side too. And then just hearing people playing all these awesome games uh, I was having fear of missing out on those as well. So yeah, FOMO, it was, a, it was a mental record. It was pulling me left and right, up and down, in and out. Uh, and it was just like every single day too, every day, multiple times a day, <laughs> I would experience this. So it was, uh, it was quite something, quite something. So I guess lessons to learn from this, social media and stuff like that, I, I guess I had it a lot more when I started using social media more, because otherwise you're kind of just more in your own world, and you're not getting outside pressure 
or hearing about all these things so much, how how awesome AAA game XXX is, you know, or other people on the leaderboard bragging, oh, I got plat number 500,000 or whatever. So got to keep up with them. Um, so like I said, game for yourself. Try not to give in to FOMO. Try to realize uh, FOMO exists is what I would suggest. And then you can kind of take a step back and think, you know, if I didn't see all of these people posting all this stuff about this, would I really want it that bad? Or is it just because I want it because everyone else is doing it? I would suggest doing that. Uh, could save yourself some money. Could save yourself some time. Uh, play what you want to play, do what you uh, enjoy doing, and game on your own terms. That's what I, uh, I've been throwing around there for a while. Don't let these uh, this FOMO influence your gaming decisions like it did mine. So, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the matter. If you've experienced FOMO uh, in anything, really, anything life-related, and... If you'd like to join the V2 crew where we game on our own terms, spreading positivity, not comparing ourselves to others, trying to better ourselves, join the Discord, join the Twitch. I'll leave uh, links in the description below. And with that being said, everybody have a good night, good morning. Enjoy your games. Thanks so much for watching. Spread the positivity. Game on your own terms. You do you and be your V2.